News 5 at 5 starts now. We learn new information late this afternoon after a deadly police shooting in Medina. Thanks for watching. I'm Damon Maloney. And I'm Rob Powers. Katie's off tonight. The Medina police chief just gave an update on this case, revealing the county sheriff is the person who actually pulled the trigger. News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison has been digging into this all day. Sarah, that's not the only new bit of information revealed today. There was a lot of new information at a news conference here at Medina City Hall this afternoon. We know that Sheriff Terry Grice is on paid leave tonight while Ohio BCI investigates the shooting. We also know that there was surveillance video that they played during this news conference today that shows what led up to the moment the Medina County Sheriff shot and killed 37 year old Victoria Carter. This is the surveillance video from the Medina County Sheriff's Office. It shows a white car pull up and park on the sidewalk in front of the office. A man then approaches 37-year-old Victoria Carter. She gets out, armed with what appears to be a knife and a gun. The man then goes to an intercom outside the Sheriff's Office to alert deputies. The woman appears to be yelling at the man. She chases after him, but then turns around and goes back to the front of the Sheriff's Office. That's when Medina County Sheriff Terry Grice and Deputy Doug Kleinage come outside and confront Carter. She puts down the gun, but then picks it up and moves towards them. You can see Deputy Kleinage tases her, but Carter moves toward the officers again. Police say that's when Sheriff Grice opened fire. Medina Police Chief Ed Kenny says the gun turned out to be a fake. In a split second, it's impossible for a police officer to determine whether a firearm, a replica firearm, is real or not. So I, I think any reasonable officer would have reacted the way they did when presented with those exact same facts. Chief Kinney says Carter was known to them and that Dinah police have been called several times to do welfare checks at her home in Lafayette Township due to her mental health problems. It's unclear why she came to the sheriff's office yesterday, but Chief Kinney says her boyfriend is currently in their jail. He said her death highlights the need for improved mental health treatments. These folks who, who are having mental health struggles mental health problems, they need resources. They need avenues that they can they can go to to get these situations addressed so that it doesn't turn into a tragic situation like this. There are still a lot of questions tonight. We don't know how many rounds were fired. We do know Carter died at the scene. I talked to an Ohio BCI spokesperson today. They told me it could take anywhere from several weeks to several months to complete the criminal investigation into the shooting. Live in Medina, I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison. My goodness, Sarah, thank you so much for your reporting tonight.